Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Najwa Husseini with Azadi News. Azadi TV team wishes all Rohingya and Muslims around the globe a very blessed Ramadan. May Allah give us strength and strong will to fight this ongoing novel coronavirus epidemic and survive with unity and faith. UN's Guterres asks Bangladesh to move Rohingya to refugee camps. Cyclone threatens as COVID-19 appears in crowded Rohingya refugee camp. Virus derails Rohingya repatriation, says Burma. Hundreds of Rohingya rescued by Bangladesh and sent to a flood-prone island after being stranded at sea for weeks should be moved to existing refugee camp, the UN Secretary General said. Antonio Guterres made the appeal to Bangladesh's foreign minister in a letter that was obtained on Sunday by AFP news agency. The Rohingya were rescued in early May after floating adrift in the Bay of Bengal and sent to Bashanchar Island, a silty strip of land that is vulnerable to monsoon storms. Dhaka has said the 308 were sent to the island rather than the camps in Cox's Bazar because authorities were afraid they might have the viral disease also known as COVID-19. Guthrie said the refugees should be moved to the camps after their time in quarantine is completed. Dhaka has not said how long the Rohingya will remain in isolation. Mo'min told AFP he had yet to received the letter but said those concerned about Bashanchar where facilities for 100,000 people were built last year should host the Rohingya in their own countries. We don't want any more Rohingya, Mo'min told AFP. He said more pressure should be put on Burma to repatriate the Rohingya to their home state of Arkan. Emergency teams are racing to contain the spread of the coronavirus in the camps after the confirmation of four cases. Meanwhile, while Amnesty International reported on Friday that at least 1,000 Rohingya remain stranded off the coast of Indonesia's Aceh as Southeast Asian nations tightened their borders. The group urged immediate action to ensure they were not buried in an invisible graveyard at sea. Cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed in refugee camps in Bangladesh, where a million Rohingya refugees live in cramped, primitive conditions. Now, as officials try to prevent the deadly disease from running rampant, the area is also threatened by Cyclone Amphan, which is strengthening in the Bay of Bengal. The tropical cyclone could be a Category 3 or stronger equivalent when it approaches landfall in Bangladesh or Northeast India later this week. Now that the virus has entered the world's largest refugee settlement in Cox's Bazar, we are looking at the very real prospect that thousands of people may die from COVID-19. Shamim Jahan, Save the Children's Health Director in Bangladesh, said in a statement, This pandemic could set Bangladesh back by decades. The Rohingya live in 34 camps in Cox's Bazar. The camps have been under lockdown since March 14. Testing began in area in early April. As of late last week, 108 refugees had been tested. Those infected were being treated in isolation and about 1,900 other refugees were being isolated for tests. Health experts have warned that the virus could race through the sprawling camps, where access to clean water is limited and people have to line up for food at communal distribution points. The first COVID-19 case found among the Rohingya living in crowded refugee camps in Bangladesh could delay their repatriation, a Burmese government spokesperson said. Uzote, a spokesman for the president's office, said, The discovery of the dreaded disease in a refugee in Cox's Bazar may delay the repatriation process. We hope the outbreak is contained as soon as possible, he told a press briefing in Napi Daw on May 16. We need the cooperation of international organizations. It won't be easy for the refugees to return now. 
well. The patients are undergoing treatment and their contacts are being traced, said Louise Donovan, a spokesperson for UNHCR, the UN Refugee Agency. Aid agencies and rights groups have been demanding that Bangladesh's government withdraw restrictions on using mobile phones and internet in the camps. Daniel P. Sullivan, a human rights advocate for aid group Refugees International, said the lack of accurate information is fueling misinformation and rumors abound in the camps that COVID-19 is always fatal or that the faithful will be safe. This is today's news. To get more updates about Rohingya, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. Visit our website azadinews.org and follow our social media accounts. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.